Well, it's been a little bit, guys, and I think it's time for another gear battle. Today we're going to take a look at two different software solutions for getting a wide array of guitar sounds, and that is Neural DSP and STL Tone Hub, and welcome to Music with Marky. Anyone who knows this channel knows that I use the Axe FX3 and the Kemper pretty extensively to get my sounds. And those are a couple of pretty expensive units. So what if we want to get some good modeled guitar sounds without breaking the bank? Well, we can turn to some software. And the two that I'm comparing today are two of the primary ones out there. They both offer amp and cab simulations and have a wide array of stomp boxes that get plugged into it as well. With STL Tone Hub, you have a base core software package that comes with a bunch of uh, sounds plugged into it already. And that costs $199 right now and you can get a bunch of different artists and sound packs for around $49 each. With Neural DSP, you don't have a core software, but you're buying each pack individually as its own kind of standalone plugin, and they have a bunch of stuff from artists as well. They run from like 119 to about 159. So what I wanna do is give you a side-by-side -side comparison and a mix and a little MIDI song here, the same way I kinda do it when I compare the Axe FX and Kemper. Although when I do those, I can be a bit more scientific about it. We've got like just a Marshall through a four by 12 versus another Marshall through a 4x12. The way these two software packages are put together, it's not really easy to do that. You can find the amps and dial in the sounds and get the plugin that uses that amp, but these are really more about selling artist presets. And so that's really what I want to look at here. And I downloaded a couple of different artist presets, uh, one from Andy James for the STL Tone Hub because he's one of my favorite players and I love his sound. And the other one I grabbed is Pliny's Pack with Neural DSP, another guy who's a fantastic player and has some great tones and affected sounds. So I'm going to put them next to each other in a mix. As I said, I'll go about two measures a piece. And well, you'll hear it. Let's just roll the music. Okay, so I think you can see there, I tried to give you a range of tones. We started with that clean thing with some cool effects that are both included in the sounds. I uh, went to a high gain lead or high gain rhythm tone, then a high gain lead tone, and then like an edge of breakup kind of thing. And I think you can hear there's a pretty substantive difference between the two there. Again, it's not an apples to apples comparison because I couldn't do Mesa Amp versus Mesa Amp or that kind of thing. I just picked the sound from each one of these packs that I thought was the best sound for the part that I was playing and ran them side by side. That said, I think you can hear the differences most clearly in the clean part in the intro there and in the lead sound where I thought it really differentiated more than in the other sounds. So talking more generally about these plugins, let me kind of wrap this all up into a neat package for you. With STL, the one advantage I'll give it is the sheer number of artist packs available. There's a little bit more variety to be had there, at least at the time when I filmed this video in early 2021. Other than that, I have to give Neural the advantage in every other category. The first thing is it was easier to install and use right out of the gate. With STL, even with a free demo, I had to plug in the reg key into iLock before it would even show up once I installed it. With Norl, I just installed it and it was good to go. Uh, I also had an issue with STL as a studio plugin where it was defaulting to mono and the UI was so small on my 4K screen that I didn't notice at first and was wondering why all my lush reverb sounds that I wanted were so lame sounding and one dimensional. I had to find that little button and change it on every track I needed the stereo effects for. The second thing is the quality of the stomp box effects themselves. On uh, Neural, I just found it to be flat out better. 
The ones I tried thus far at STL anyway were really kind of meat and potatoes and I just didn't have all that depth and quality to match what I saw in Neural DSP with their stomp boxes. And speaking of depth, the third thing, uh, the Neural Amp and Cab models feel much more three-dimensional to me than do the STL ones. You got a sample of it there in the mini song, and of course they offer free demos of any of the sound packs so you could go through and hear guitar only tracks and play through it on your own. So there's my thoughts in comparison. For my taste anyway, Neural DSP was pretty much the clear winner on almost every front here. And I should be clear as well that uh, I am not paid in any way and not endorsed by either one of these companies. I wasn't even sent any of the software for free. I just used the free demos. And I'm just some mook who downloaded it like anybody else and put together a comparison video for you. And in any case, I hope that comparison was helpful when you're looking at making a decision between one or the other. You can, as I said before, download free demos for yourself and take a look at it. And if you have any questions or comments, any further thoughts, leave them below. I get back to everyone as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.